This one's for you, Gabe. I miss you. I didn't speak this morning. I couldn't. Hearing everyone talk about him, about the life he had here with all of you, I lost the chance to have that. But even though I only had one day with him, he changed my life. said, I didn't know if I belonged here. He told me that home isn't something you find. It's something you build. You have a superpower? 
you're both fucking with me, right? I'm not so into calling it a superpower, but all the rest is true. Fine. Then tell me what I'm feeling right now. You're feeling disbelief. (sighs) (laughs) You're actually a little annoyed. You feel hurt that we didn't tell you until now. Whether it's true or not, you don't like being left out. Well, okay. Oh, shit. The foosball game. You knew exactly what to do. Yeah, sorry. Being around memories of Gabe was making you so sad. I wanted to help. You did. I'm just surprised. Never thought I'd have a freaky empath friend. Pretty wild. So, any sign of Diane today? No, but she was in yesterday working on her laptop. You said she was afraid of something around Gabe's death. If she's covering up what Typhon did, I bet there's proof. I hope so. If she comes in today, let's be ready with a plan. In the meantime, I've got to finish my shift. We're on it. Time to earn a paycheck. Now, Steph and Ryan know the big secret. It is such a relief having them in my corner. Sorry, Steph, but there can only be... see how awkward and out of shape I am. Forget it. Been there before. Maybe I can encourage her. Maybe I can give her a pep talk. Hey, can I ask you something? I've always felt too self-conscious to try running. You seem like a pro. Any tips? Oh. Well, definitely don't let that stop you. Just push through it, you know? I'll try that. Thanks. Trust me. Mmm. Appetizing. How do these bird washing... I'm not convinced this is totally sanitary, but what do I know? Ah, Colorado tap water. I think our chat actually helped. the best boss I've ever had. Did you trade out the quarters in the register yet? All you, kid. Where are you, girl from Rome? Gosh, I really miss that song. 
They used to play it in here all the time. Weird. I've never heard it. Maybe Jed knows where it went? I wonder what the song was. Maybe I can find out. Hey, where do we keep unused jukebox CDs? We don't. Everything we have is in the jukebox. Cool. Just curious. Sorry, Steph, but there can only be one jukebox hero. I wonder what the song was. Maybe I can find out. Where are you, girl from Rome? Jed's such a liar. 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 Definitely the best boss I've ever had. Which, to be fair, isn't that high a bar. Rome. 
I wonder what the song was. Maybe I can find out. Definitely the best boss I've ever had. Which, to be fair, isn't that high a bar. Hey, do you guys know a song that goes, Where are you, girl from Rome? Holy shit. Blast from the past. Alabaster daydreams. My dad used to love that song. Gabe would put it on repeat just to mess with him. Got to the point where he couldn't stand to even hear it anymore. So, what happened to it? Eventually, Judd pulled it out of the jukebox and stashed it somewhere. You could ask him. Sweet. Thanks. Hey, boss. Do the words alabaster daydreams mean anything to you? Oh, hell. Like brother, like sister, huh? Fine. Guess it's been long enough. It's back behind the bar someplace. Thanks. Sorry, Jed. The people of... All right. Let's hear this infamous song. Daydreams. That's it. How the hell? Don't worry about it. One small victory that no one will ever. Best job I've ever had. Not that the competition is super fierce. So many memories of Gabe I didn't get to make. I wish Riley never found out about my condition. She needs to focus on her future, not mine. Riley found out? I wonder what this means for them. I feel terrible for Eleanor. Hey, Eleanor. How are you? I'm doing okay. Thank you, dear. I 
really appreciate your help from a couple weeks ago. It means a lot to me. Of course. I'm glad I could help. Hey, is everything okay with you and Riley? For the most part. She's pushing herself too hard helping me. I just want her to focus on her own life now. Let me know what I can do. You've done so much already. I'm grateful, Alex. I feel terrible for Eleanor. I wish Riley never found out about my condition. She needs to focus- Alabaster daydreams! That's it! Fuck you, Ryan Lucan. Enjoy your Birder of the Year title while it lasts. Ooh, shit. Ryan's got a rival. Time for your bath. Fuck you, Ryan Lucan. Enjoy your bird. check in with Steph and Ryan. Okay, she's here. What's the plan? Well, we have two plans, actually. But we're still workshopping them. What does workshopping mean, exactly? It means Ryan won't admit that my plan is perfect. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I asked Diane out on a date. Wait, what? And she's so into it. She doesn't notice one Ryan Lucan swiping her laptop. Ryan carries said laptop upstairs, acquiring damning evidence. Maybe Diane and I still hook up. Not important. <laughs> That's your plan? Oh my God, please tell me you have something better. I do. Now, to be clear, it's the same plan, except I'm the distraction. Look, Steph, I don't even think she's gay, all right? She's probably into the rugged mountain man type. All the transplants are. Okay, maybe these plans do need some more time. What? It's a simple plan, literally two steps. You just need to choose the hotter distraction. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing that. You're the only tiebreaker we have. Let's go with Ryan. Of course, you're a total smoke show, Steph, but for Diane, I think Ryan is a good choice. This Ryan? This is like a bad dream. Look, I appreciate the, the effort, but we don't even know if she has anything worth stealing yet. I'm just gonna try talking to her. Maybe I can get her worked up and read her emotions. I'll let you know if I need that distraction. Good luck. Your usual. Thanks, Alex. What's the best way to rile her up? No, all I want is justice for my brother. Please. 
please. Help me. Alex, I can assure you that Typhon is committed to a full and open investigation. We want to find those responsible and hold them accountable just as much as you do. That's the truth. She's got a great poker face, unlike Mac, but let's see what she's really feeling. Let me try and read her first. I should try reading Diane's emotions before we go any further. Poor Gabe. No one deserves to die like that. She said, if I keep her thinking about Gabe's death, maybe I can find out more. Such a cute photo. My niece and nephew. They're adorable. I bet you and Gabe threw back a lot of these together. He was a great bartender. Made the long work days more bearable. William Bloom. Gabe loved him. I think he spent a whole year just listening to him. <laughs> really? He had good taste. Surprised we never talked about it. That's a nice cross. Oh, thanks. Do you have um, enough napkins for the table? Uh, yeah. I'm fine, thanks. Typhon does a lot of local hiring, huh? We're always growing. Are you joining in the LARP later? It's been so hard for Ethan. We're all hoping it will cheer him up. I can't. Good luck, though. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Okay. Now I need to pick something that will push Diane's emotions over the edge. Look, I know you're not a bad person. But my brother is dead because of the choices you and Typhon made. How does that make you feel? I actually want to know. Alex, I... We... Typhon is doing everything we can to address the situation. That's the truth. Okay? All right. That's the emotion I was looking for. Time to explore Diane's guilt about Gabe. to find out what Diane is really hiding. He came here looking for a better life, just like me. He's gone. I'm still here. Hello? Miss Jacobs? It's Deputy Pike. Pike, I'm sorry, but we're very busy at the moment. There's been an accident. What? kind of accident. Wait, there's something else. I can't undo what Typhon did, or the role I played, but at least I have everything I need to protect myself from them. Holy shit. 
She must have evidence on the USB stick. Oh, looks like I'll need a distraction after all. Diane? Hey, Ryan. What's up? Well, if you're free later, I was thinking we could go on a hike together. There's some beautiful trails up in the mountains. Oh, that sounds like a nice idea. Sounds fun. Ryan knows all about the local flora and fauna of Haven. Ryan, tell her about the flora and fauna. Oh, uh, well, that right there is a Colorado pinion jay. It can hold more than 40 seeds at a time with an expandable esophagus. That is impressive. <laughs> so, what do you say? Hey, no rush. He's not going anywhere. Mull it over. Get back to him. Anyway, gotta go. <laughs> See ya. wants you. I know, I can't believe it. <laughs> hey. Oh, man. You guys, oh, that was hilarious. Oh, my God. I hope this was worth it. Password protected. Guess I'm not surprised. I'll bring this to Riley, see if she's willing to help. She's a whiz at computer stuff. In the meantime, we have a LARP to do. Grab your hat and meet me at the park. And don't forget your guitar, okay? One question. When the LARP's over, can I keep the hat? I'd say that all depends on how you do. Damn, gauntlet thrown. <laughs> so, did you finish the thing? Yeah, barely. It took me all night. I haven't carved like that in ages. All right, I need to grab my guitar. Wow. Typhon officially clears Typhon of any wrongdoing in Death of Local Man at the hands of Typhon Explosions. Ducky's gift to me for finding his booze. It's, um, it's a unique expression of gratitude. I 
found some really cute photos of Gabe and Ethan on this thing. Stuff was right. These chicks rock. Sometimes it's hard to say where Gabe ends and I begin. His job, his apartment, his life here. But if there is a seam somewhere, I see it most in Steph and Ryan. In my mind, when we're all together, I can imagine him in my place. And I can watch the scene unfold like a spectator for a life I barely knew. Or if I choose instead, I can forget about Gabe and just accept, however improbably, that Steph and Ryan care about me for my own sake, for no other reason. I think I know which one Gabe would prefer. I haven't beat Steph a single time. That just means I'm over- I don't even know if I'm doing this right, but... It felt like I had to do something. I know this is Ethan's copy, but... I'm level 73, and I'm not- I feel like I kept the hat in here. Only one way life in Haven would be a lot worse without these two weirdos. A housewarming gift from Eleanor. She said Gabe loved these little dudes. We're one step closer now. Steph, I will murder you. Wish I'd taken Steph's advice. Ugh. Wow, Steph is a rock star for putting this together. Ethan is gonna flip. I still haven't gotten you open yet. Must be a key around here somewhere. A dire rat joined your party. One day, I'll stop being a freeloader. For now, I'm just grateful. My weapon of choice. Leave it to me to wreck Gabe's bike on my first ride. Yikes. This garden is looking gnar- I wonder how many times Gabe got stoned up here and stared at these. Guessing it was more than zero. I haven't played for anyone else in years. That was a good night.
So far, Ryan is the only one that uses this. Maybe I should just gift it to him. Maybe I can clean you up a bit. Well, it's better than nothing. Look, man, if you want to live here, you need to do your own dishes. Ugh, you need a lot of help. Ugh, not much better. So far, Ryan is the only one that uses this. Maybe I should just gift it to him. Still haven't gotten you open yet. Must be a key around here somewhere. Huh. There it is. I think I know where you go. Half person, half dump truck. I feel you. Yeah, I don't need to know what that was for. Another one of Gabe's hidden cans. Dork. Steph knows how to LARP on a budget. Oh shit. The feather on the hat must have fallen off. Maybe I can find it. Gabe's last effects from the coroner. Pike dropped it off a few days ago. Guess I've been avoiding looking through it. Okay. You can take the kid out of juvie. Oh. I'm not giving up yet, Gabe. I better find that feather. Steph is a stickler for details. This feather separates Okay, just need to grab my guitar now.
This must have been Gabe's. It's a long list, and I bet he would have gotten through it. Wow, Gabe. Still finding ways to break my heart, huh? My weapon of choice. Alex the Bard, ready to serve. Time to head out. <laughs> Hey. I don't need, like, cheering up or whatever. Okay, so maybe this wasn't the most subtle idea, but... Gabe was so excited to LARP with you. I bet he'd really want you to do it. I do want to do this. It's just... <sighs> Everyone's been working so hard. And if I'm not happy, they'll all be disappointed. Must be weird having a bunch of adults pressuring you to dress up in a costume and act like you're having fun. Yeah, especially my mom. She always looks so <sighs> sad. Cause I'm like bummed out. But I can't just pretend. So, don't pretend. Just be yourself. Or yourself with a foam sword and a funny hat. But what if I'm still, you know, not having fun? Then don't. That's fine too. No one will be disappointed in you for being you. All right. But I don't want to do it alone. You have to help me. Of course. Thanor, the monster slayer. Thanks to the gods and all the heavens you've come. I am in desperate need of a great hero. Could you be the one? Please, tell me of your exploits. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff. 
Maybe my bard can sing something about me. Oh. Sure. A kraken ate a city every year until it died on Thanor's spear. My goodness. So you must be Thanor's bard, Alto, whose songs have magical powers. It sounds like you are exactly the heroes I need. My name is King Tabor. The age of monsters has come upon my kingdom. Horrible creatures. Stalk the streets. My people live in constant fear. But there's hope. An ancient prophecy describes three mysterious gems known as soul jewels that can save us all. I need you to go search the kingdom, survive whatever's out there, and bring me back those jewels. Do you understand? Yeah. Yes. Good. Then you must go, now. My people are counting on you. Should we start with the main road? Okay. Time to find some jewels. <laughs>